Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Chibi Robo. So last time we actually got the Utilibots built. So we have a ladder now in the living room, in the kitchen, and in the foyer. That's exciting. Anyhow, we can't use the Recyclotron again. We need to unlock more stuff before we do that. I could buy the Hot Rod, I could buy the Space Scrambler. But I think I'm good for the shop. Anyhow, it's daytime if memory serves. And there's still much more to explore. Our first stop will be actually be the kitchen, not the foyer. Because now that we've got the kitchen ladder, we can go and finish tea time with mom. So here's the kitchen ladder, it's on the countertop. And our first step with it is going to be to grab the spoon that's up here. The kitchen ladder I don't think can be used to grab as quite as much stuff as the living room ladder, but still. This is an important tool. No, not the plug. No, not the plug. Come on. Mountain. Cheap oh, I was standing on the spoon, that's why I couldn't pick it up. Hey, that's a kid's spoon! When you hold it, it looks like a shovel! Cheapy Robo! I bet you can dig over there! So this gives us our next tool of the game. The spoon. This, like you said, essentially functions as a shovel allowing us to dig stuff up. It's one of the least useful tools right up there for the mud, but it's still important to have. Someone just dumps their old cookie boxes up here on this shelf. You really need some I love how it takes longer for Chibiro to pick up the cookie crumbs than it does to pick up the actual box that held the cookies in. Chibi door up here, let's get some money. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we can stand on the box. Anyhow, we can do gardening over here. If we buy the flower seeds from the shop, we can grow flowers in the flower bed over there. It's kind of cool, but honestly, flowers don't do a whole lot. Their main use is just to give people happy points. And we have other ways of doing that. Anyhow, let's see where else we can reach. It's kind of an annoying sound, but alright. <laughs> Thankfully, we're right next to an outlet plug. Kablunk! Your energy's full! Are you going to save? Hey, Mom. Wanna have some more tea? Hey, Chibo. You wanna chat? Yeah! I love talking. Actually, uh, in real life, I don't like it that much. She's gonna talk trash about her family more. Oh, are you going to let me borrow your spoon, Chibo? Sure. And that's why we couldn't finish tea time. We needed the spoon. My, how thoughtful of you. This is the same glass of tea that I poured yesterday. <laughs> I didn't finish it and I didn't stir it up. It's cold now and terrible, but... <laughs> Thank you, Chibo. Mom just gave you 21 happy points! You got 48, move on! Spread the happiness! Thank you for the spoon. And then she gives it back to us. So what do you think of this house, Chibo? I like it! It's very nice. I know flattery when I see it, but thanks anyway. What are you talking- This- that- they live in a pretty cool house. Like, yeah, you can say it's a little small, like there's only really three main rooms in the bedrooms. Well, actually, that's not- that's like, it's that bigger than my condo that I'm living at right now. It's a nice place, they've decked it out. I like it. <laughs> I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Some of us can just lie on the couch and saw logs all night, but not me. Oh no. I'm in the bedroom all night trying to fix things, and frankly, it's not going very well. Aw. 
That's rough, but also stop trash talking your husband. Oh, this tea is really sweet. It's nice and soothing. Oh, yum! Can I have that cookie? Sure. I've got cookie crumbs, but I don't have any. Oh, very nice. You've been cleaning up the house. Thank you, Chibo. Mom just gave you ten happy points. Mom just gave you ten more. Spread the happiness. So she's referring to this cookie, which I didn't pick up last time. Yes, those are delicious, but they'll make you fat if you eat too many. <laughs> Is that more trash talking the husband? Also, it's it's tiny. Oh my gosh! Compare the size of a cookie to the size of her hand. It's like the size of one of her fingers. It's so tiny, like the tip of one of her fingers. You brought me a cookie, Chiba. Yeah. I could give her the cookie crumbs, but I won't. I'll give her the actual cookie. I can't do anything else with it. Thank you, Chiba. Mom just gave me 15 happy points. Oh, Mom gave me 36 bucks. You spread the happiness. Jenny's a talented art artist for her age, don't you think so? She's not smack-talking her family anymore! She's actually complimenting her daughter. Yeah, I've seen Jenny draw, she's great. You think so too, huh? I'm a lousy artist, can't draw a thing. Jenny must have gotten it from her dad. Well, I suppose I should get back to work. Alright, that's tea time with Mom. Yeah, the problem I often have with, uh, <laughs> with the tea time is that if you pick up the cookie before you can get the spoon? I'm not sure if, like, the cookie regrows, but it's sometimes, especially if you, like, trigger certain parts of the plot beforehand, you just kind of get locked out of tea time and then you just have a cookie on you for the rest of the game. I don't like that. I like having a nice, clean inventory, so I didn't pick up the cookie until I could finish tea time. I don't- it, it shouldn't affect 100% in any way, though, so don't worry about it, I'm just a weirdo. Did I push the ladder up at all? I think, yeah. Well, we all know what happens when we see a teddy bear sticker. It's gotta go. We just destroyed the wall! What the heck? We just literally destroyed the wall. Oh! What do you think this is? I think it is... A sign that we are actually not a very good robot. We are actually kind of terrible. Seriously, there was a sticker on top of the wall, but we shot the sticker and it blew off the part of the wall behind it. Anyhow, <laughs> this is a neat little secret passageway in here. Oh, and there's just a crack in this wall as well. Is there like a rat chewing through this stuff? Not a hole, that's actually a pattern. Anyhow, now we can hover down. Oh, oh no. Okay, good. Uh -oh. oh, this is something we can pick up. We get the bandage. That'll come important that'll be coming handy for a later side quest. Right, here we go. And whoa-bam! Nice! Yeah, I must admit, Jenny is a pretty good artist. Like, she's drawing better stuff than I can. Great. Right. I've actually had people say, like, you're colorful, arty, aren't you an artist? I'm like, no. Not even remotely. I suck at drawing and art in general. But I'm fairly skilled at programming, so... And I do appreciate art, as long as it's good art. None of this postmodern stuff. <laughs> My rule of thumb is if I could make it, it's not art. <laughs> that should tell you how bad of an artist I am. Alright, so there's this planter up here. If we look around, we can see a chibi door over there. We've got a hover and then float on down. Kind of a funny well-hidden door. They do a good job hiding these. And it contains 400 bucks. The max amount of money that one of these doors can contain is 500. So that, and generally the more money is in there, the harder it is to find. 
So if you find a lot of money in a place, then it's probably it was probably a supposedly well hidden trap or a well hidden door. And if you find a well hidden door, then chances are it's gonna have a lot of money inside. Anyhow, I saw oil over there, so I believe the spiders are nearby. Because remember, yep. You know the spiders are here when you see oil randomly on the ground in a place where you wouldn't normally find it. For example, like, you can find oil in the basement just normally. But if it's like, oh hey, there's a splotch of oil in the foyer, that, that's probably a good sign that the spiders are hanging out somewhere. Tau? You were the worst. Oh, we could do more free rangers training as well. Actually, I, I'm not sure if we can finish up the training. I think we can now that we've got the foyer ladder. You're fully recharged, are you going to say it? Nope. I'll do the training later. Our nice sparkly new Utilibot. Maybe we'll hear more about Telly's past if we sit here. Sure enough. Tisk tisk, we shouldn't be slacking all. Tell me about it. Oh, but I'm sure there are times when you need to take a breather. Oh! So how about this? Hey, check it out! Though I have no mouth, it's my dream to become a singer. Goodbye. I just gave you 21 happy points. Spread the happiness. Again, Telly, if you can give me happy points, don't skimp on them. So in order to climb up to the top of the room, we actually don't need to put the ladder all the way up. You can't even reach the top of the room just by the ladder alone. What you can do is extend it up here, go on this table, pick up the candy wrappers people leave lying around. It's a photo of Jenny. And now at this point we're on the highest, or we're on one stair higher than the one we could get up to previously, and we can just take these all the way up to the top. It's a long staircase, though. Who just left a box of cookies on the stairway? It's completely unacceptable. takes a while to get up. But here we are. That is the room, to, that is the doorway that leads to the parents' bedroom. We're actually not going to go in there just yet. Your energy is full! Are you going to say it? No. So yeah, we're not actually going in the parents' bedroom yet. There's a random car up here, but we can't do anything with it. And of course the cheap door. This we can use do something with. Two hundred bucks. Nice. Yeah, that car is there for a mini game we'll play later. What the heck? 
Oh, I'm like, there's just one paw print. No, there's a few. How did Tao get muddy paw prints only at the top of the stairs? He walked up the stairs with absolutely no muddy prints, but as soon as he came to the top of the stairs, his paws magically became muddy. Spidors are probably hanging out up here somewhere. I can tell because there's oil around. Or a pretzel goldfish. There's a nice fountain up there. This world is just awesome. There are tire tracks. Who's driving that toy car? Stuart Little, are you living in this house? Looks like someone literally just drove off of the foyer. Okay. Stuart Little, he's dead. Was that Stuart Little Free? I never saw Stuart Little Free. I just know it was 2D animation, which is kind of weird. I'm normally all for 2D animation, but... Not really when the previous two movies were live action with a little 3D. That's weird. Where are the spiders? Someone just dumped a can of juice down up here. Or, I'm sorry, a can of squirt. The favorite drink of one, Harry Potter. You get a lot of heavy points for mopping up these stains. My mom's probably like, who in the world is driving a car around up here? Which is very understandable, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, and then this is the next room. It's Jenny's room! One of the last places we have left to exit, like, at least enter. Again, only a few rooms in the world map. And she has her own trash can up here, so if you ever really, really need to throw out the trash, you can. She's just drum floor, okay. It's a toy telephone. You might be able to talk to someone, though. Okay. Uh, outlet, outlet, outlet. Here's an outlet. Jenny's room is nice and pink, as you might expect. She does seem to like pink, given what she wears. Whew, that was close. You're fully recharged, though. Are you going to say no? Uh, ready? Now let's go. Jenny just has, like, dried flowers on the floor. That's interesting. Man, what a dump under there! You know what, I'm not even gonna deal with that just yet. One thing you wanna do when you get up here, is climb up here. She has her own TV. And this is what you want. That's a squirter from a doctor's kit. It's probably Jenny's. Looks like you can pull up water with it. Then you can spray it on all sorts of things. This is our next tool. It's the squirter. And this tool took me a very long time to figure out how to use. And I'll get into how to use it uh, later on. But basically, there are certain liquids, so you know, the oil or the water you find around. You can suck it up with the squirter and then squirt it on stuff. If you suck up water, there might be like dirt stains on the wall. You can squirt water at it and then it'll get rid of the stains. What the heck? Jenny! What is this? Jenny apparently had a very bad cold and then just like raided the fridge and threw all of the trash on the floor under her bed. She also has like a weird Egyptian hieroglyphic shoebox down here. That's interesting. Seriously, what a dump! <laughs> also, one of the things under here, besides the cookie crumbs, is this crayon. It's the green crayon. Oh my gosh, Jenny! 
She's just like, nobody will notice if I eat all of the cookies. <laughs> she has two boxes of cookies. Who knows how many tissue papers. She basically just downed an entire bag of Jolly Ranchers as well. And threw, literally just threw it all under her bed. Then again, that's exactly what a kid would do. Just throw all your stuff under the bed and no one will know any difference. So what's in the shoe box? Okay, there's a mummy living under her bed. Well, all right then. Did I scare you? Yes, you did. I was terrified. Oh, nice. And then he just goes back to his tomb. All right, so that was an interesting character. He's a toy, in case you didn't know. He was a toy mummy, not a real one. Um. Oh, Bobber! It looks like we found Winnie the Pooh's house. <laughs> what is this? She just has like a. Stump with a mushroom on here? That's interesting. Okay, Jenny. Whatever floats your boat. So here's a nice little block puzzle you can do. If you push the blocks in the spots they need to go, you will get happy points. It can be tricky, though. Especially with the camera not wanting to cooperate. And you being very fast at pushing things. Again, this is just for happy points. But you get 66 of them, which is pretty great. Let's climb up Jenny's drawers. It's, it's thank goodness Jenny has her drawers with so many weird handles and so many weird spots. That's very convenient for us. You can't hold any more of those! Okay. It's not my fault Jenny's such a slob that I had to pick up like 12 of them. Alright, well, let's see if we can reach the trash can and take out the trash before the day's over. Lob it in with A! Boxes. That is insane. You got a total of 96 happy points. You got 960 moolah. Jenny, you a slob. I mean, this is coming from a guy who's very much not a meat freak, but like, seriously, I'm not this bad. I draw the line at having actual food lying out. Come on now. Cheaper Momo, we should be getting back to the cheap ants. Well, that day went by a lot faster than some of the others. Great work out there! Let's adjust your happy point total. Your chibi ranking has gone from 38 to 10! 
for making it to the top 10. Send yourself to send you a special gift to brand new Mavis battery. Whoa, would you look at that? Goes up to 200. Your battery power went up to 180. That's not that much. I thought it would go up to 200. In order to get the next bonus battery, you'll need 325 more happy points. Why are you here, Robo? Would you like to save? Yeah, I'm gonna save. That's gonna do it for this episode of Cheatin' Robo, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be going back upstairs. Gonna see what the, the grown-up's bedroom is all about. And now that we've got the spoon and the squirter, we might be able to do some more stuff around the house. We'll just have to wait and see. Look forward to that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.